It is uh, 1 a.m. local time. We just got back from our pub quiz and getting some snacks. We're hanging out in pajamas. Yeah, yeah. We're twinsies. They're fucking twinsies. <laughs> and we have Scotland snacks. So, I've got bar bubblegum flavored soda made by the same people, I guess, as the Iron Brew people, Iron right? People. Which I had Iron Brew for the first time last night. Actually, no, I had sugar-free Iron Brew, and it was god-awful because it was sugar-free. So, How dare you, sir? No, the sugar... How dare you? The sugar-free stuff was terrible. I, I imagine it's much better. Anyways, so, Jim, before I pour this, what color do you think this is? Uh, pink. <laughs> Not pink. Is that periwinkle blue? Yes. Yeah. That... I have feelings about that. It is an electric Why would you put that in your body? It is an electric blue color. So, Enjoy your bubblegum future drink. So this is the, uh, the elixir of life. Prost. <laughs> yeah, it's got a bubblegum smell. You deserve everything that's about to happen to you. Be sure to nose it three times. Yeah, in case the alcohol, you know. <laughs> no, so it stays the same. It stays the same. Same notes of bubblegum and bubblegum. So here we go. It is what I would expect from bubblegum. If you were to take bubblegum flavored ice cream, dilute it, throw some club soda in it, that's about what I would expect. It smells like a dentist's office. Yeah. It matches your nail polish. Yeah. It tastes like a dentist's <laughs> office. How does it taste like a dentist's office? I did warn you. You kind of get used to it, though. Yep. We're both girls and disgusting. It's, why are you drinking that? No, stop. Snack the first. So, we got ourselves some uh, Marmite nuts. I bought these specifically because I was thinking of Shannon when I saw the packaging. Because she was the first person that ever got me to actually look at Marmite on the, the shelf. Mm. Let's see. I'm expecting salty. I should point out we are not drunk. No, no. I, I mean, I have um, low willpower right now because I had three pints at the bar in short succession that we went to the grocery store. Well, it smells like marmite. Well, it smells like. Well, it smells like... Snacks. We went to Tesco. Yeah. Like Tesco, 24 hours. The only way we're going to get a snack. I have salt caramel popcorn. I'm a normal person. <laughs> so yeah, this is kind of what I expect. It's got a little bit of burnt flavor, salty goodness. There's something else. It's it's reminding me of something else. I can't quite place it. Something super salty to eat. That'll do the trick. Scottish snacks. Scottish snacks are awful. Hey. What? Scottish snacks are awful. No you keep picking up the awful one. It smells like peat moss. <laughs> like the singer peat like, moss? <laughs> like. It's smelling it again. It actually. It sort of. It smells like. I scraped it out of the bottom of the toaster while it was still warm. That's that burnt smell that you're, yeah. you're getting. But you're right, there's a certain je ne sais quoi here. Yeah. Describe your face. It's going from confusion to disappointment to amusement. To it's like if you took barbecue sauce and you took everything good out of barbecue sauce and then put it on nuts. Everything good, like all the things that make it delicious, like sweetness and 
That's Marmite. You just described Marmite. Oh, yeah. These are awful. Why would I? Why would you buy these? <laughs> so, uh, we opted to get some of the most Canadian of snacks as well. So I have maple barbecue whole grain waves. Don't sound very appetizing, but they were the only vegetarian maple thing I could find, sort of straight up doing shots of maple syrup. Which was an option. Canadian maple syrup was an option. Oh! Oh! You stuck your face right at it. What do you expect? Mm. <laughs> it's very barbecuey, very, very, very maple y. More barbecue than maple. So I'm kind of looking forward to this. The chip itself, I've never seen a chip like this. It's like a sun chip, only shitty. Huh. Absolutely nothing artificial is listed right here. And as we've learned, especially in Scotland, you cannot falsely advertise anything. So it's, I entirely believe the packaging. There's a trust built there based on, on good legislation. But yes, it says right on the side, you're not suitable for vegetarians. So. like it was a, a ch potato chip at one point or like a potato <laughs> at one point because like you, you ever see the Canadian ones it's like sometimes I question whether or not it ever was a potato to begin with but alright cheers slancher this one's almost the inverse of that one where that one you don't really get a the hint of maple in the taste but it kind of comes out in the scent this one you don't smell it where, like really comes out of the flavor. I am not a strictly vegetarian as Jeff, I could totally eat one I'm happy to share. I'm happy to help you break your, your vow. I had corned beef at dinner time. Not intentionally, but whatever. Oh yeah, you definitely taste the syrup on those. Yeah, it's like, it's so prominent. Mm. Relative. Mm -hmm. so, I quite like these. I have another one. Next up, we have Sensations, Roasted Chicken in Thyme, and Thyme, not in Thyme, flavored crisps. Um, and when we were 
questioning whether or not Jim could have these, reading over the instructions. Instructions? Sorry, the, the ingredients. Okay, the roasted chicken and thyme seasoning definitely contains that. Oh, dry chicken. <laughs> well, that was not something I was actually expecting. So, definitely not something that Jim can have. Yes, I see she's a posh person. They yeah. do everything properly. Okay, cool. But, I don't know, a lot of these flavors, because of the weird combinations, it makes me think of the PC brand stuff from back home, which is, like, not the posh. Yeah. Uh, it, they've always got like some of the best. Oh, that's definitely time heavy. And chicken stock. Yeah. So. Yeah? Yeah. Half those. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> some wibbly wobbly, timey hey. wimey. Yeah, that, that's time and chicken stock for sure. chicken stock, soak your potatoes in it, dry it out, and then sprinkle thyme over it. Is that a thing you would want to eat in chip form? I'd eat that in chicken form. These ones are like cracked. Yeah. Like that is, that is, that, that's like if you took a meal. You know like how Willy Wonka mm -hmm. had, had made the, the gum that, that as you chewed it you got different flavors? Yeah, different yeah, 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 yeah. It feels like that. Chicken soup. What, like one, yeah, chicken soup. It is entirely chicken soup. Potato, they should just rename it chicken soup. I can, I can smell that from here. Like, it's eating through the suit. Yeah. <laughs> it, um, so, yeah, this is definitely the potato chip version of, of Willy Wonka's Magic Gum. And it, is, it should just re, be renamed chicken soup chips. That people always buy chicken soup chips. I would, because I'm Canadian. Yeah. So, for tonight, we have a lovely. A full flavored, a dandelion, and burdock. Up and before pour. Well, I'll up and before you. Yes, and there's usually sediment. Yeah, sediment? Yeah, you will need to shake it. Give it a shiggle. 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 <laughs> the bouquet. Well, given that it's dandelion, this is quite a bouquet. It's hard to... It's got a licorice, like a black licorice. Well, then I can't. It smells like mouthwash. Yeah, a little bit. Ah. Or how to. 
toothpaste smells. Yep. Yep. Exactly, I remember it. <laughs> yep. <laughs> nope, nope. Need cola, need cola, need cola. So, last snack, least last snack that we have at least for today. Toffee popcorn. Toffee popcorn, of course, super yummy. Obviously. <laughs> Not as much toffee as I hope for. Put it in the bowl. Now you do popcorn. Now, I wanted to make Chicago mix, but they don't have cheese popcorn because apparently you don't put cheese on things in Britain, which is awful. I've had cheese popcorn, I just haven't seen it in a long time. Uh huh. So I was like, well, what else do we have? Scotch bonnet chili pepper popcorn. <laughs> All right. Let's crack this sucker open. I'll point out I've never had a scotch bonnet pepper. Mmm. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Whoa. There we go. Oh, it's still happening. Yeah. Yep. Mm, I'm digging it though. I'm digging it. So here's what we're gonna do. <laughs> Tax for the cameraman. Yeah, no, try that. You'll you'll like that. Scotch bonnet stuff's pretty good. Like it's, it's got a healthy burn. I'm Weird. excited. Good mix. All right, let's do this. Got a little handful here. Definitely got some toffee and some bonnet. Not the same as Chicago mix, but still pretty good. Okay. I'll call it Dundee mix. <laughs> After the famous cry dog. Yeah, that's pretty good. See? See? Yeah. Better if it had been cheese popcorn. Agreed. No, better than if it had been cheese popcorn. You're wrong. No, cheese popcorn is awful. Why would you, why would you put cheese powder on popcorn? 